Okay, looks like we're having a little bit of difficulties with, I believe this is 8.3.5. So we'll look through the instructions here. Uh, we are going to create a new cluster. So we'll go start to admin tools. Then we will go to the network load balancing manager. And we want to create a new cluster, cluster with CIT serve two. So we can right click here, say new cluster, host SEA IT serve two. Hit enter, pops up with the IP address. Okay, we've got this, that looks good. I'm gonna go next. Okay, this is the first area where it looks like uh, many people are having the problems. It says to configure the cluster to use this IP address 192.168.1.205. And that slash 24 is simply referring to the subnet mask. So slash 24 is the default subnet of 255.255.255.0. Okay, so we hit OK here. Just go right next through. The name we're going to call this. This name here will give it the ability for us to access it by name. do that and we're going to set it to unicast so it's already set to unicast now this is where we start entering the port rules so the default the, the default port rule applies to 0 through 1023 so we're going to edit this it starts at 0 we're going to set it to go through 1023 and we're going to use none for the client affinity. It's right here. Okay. Now we're going to add another rule. And this one we want to just create a rule for port 6066. So the way we do this, since we can't say just specifically for this one port, what we do is we just set the range, the range for 6066. So we have the, the range and it just creates the rule for that one single port. I'm going to keep this at both. We're going to use multiple host. Uh, none for the affinity. Okay. Next one we are looking at same kind of deal. We're doing port 32187. going to do single host single host here I'm going to add one more the 49152 265535 which is already entered for us and we want to disable all of these ports okay we'll go ahead and do these steps in the order that they're listed here so for now we'll hit finish so now we've created the cluster so we've created we've uh, we've completed steps one through six so step seven says after creating the cluster add uh, CIT SRV1 as a cluster host. Okay, we will right click on this cluster and we'll say add host to cluster. Then we'll type in the DNS name, SEA 
IT SRV1 hit enter okay it finds the server okay it doesn't say to change anything here that's all fine okay now server 1 should have a host priority of 2 and it does it's right here now we're going to edit the port rules for server 1 as follows so we'll go in here and these are the port rules on this server so we're connected to server 1 so we want to we want to edit the properties so we'll go to the port rules so for the port 6066 we're going to edit that one we're going to give it a load weight take that off of equal change this to 100 okay so that has a load weight of 100 and then for port 32187 I'm going to edit that give that a priority of 2 okay here okay we're good there now we'll go back to our primary server which is server 2 go in here and go to the properties back to the port rules and we will configure a load weight of 0 for this port 6066 so we do this load weight 0 hit OK okay and then the last step 10 tells us to go in DNS and create a new A record it does not ask us to create a new uh, reverse lookup or a pointer record so we're just going to do simply what the instructions ask so we go into our Ford lookup zone into the seattle.wesm.com zone and we say new host and we will call it Seattle. We'll call it SEA SRV2. And the IP will be the 192.168.1.205. And this is what I'm saying we're not going to create the additional pointer record. So we'll click Add Host. It was added successfully. We're done. And we can close out of everything. We've completed steps 1 through 10. And that should give us right. a. So we've completed all the tasks. So that's got to address all the questions that uh, you could have for this particular lab. I believe it was 8.3.5. Anyhow, any questions, just send me an email. Thanks. Bye.